And if she's ready, we'll go. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. I grew up in my family's small business, and that's where I learned about hard work and serving the public. I've been a kindergarten teacher and a small business owner. I'm a proud mother and a proud grandmother. And I'm a leader in Tompkins County, where we have the lowest unemployment rate in New York State. I'm running for Congress because middle class is hurting in our district all over New York. And we're here because we have a choice, a choice next Tuesday. The choice is who's on your side. Tom Reed tonight will seem reasonable and moderate, but I'd like to talk about his record for in Washington for the last four years. His votes, his votes have been to raise middle class taxes by $2,000 in order to give tax breaks to the wealthiest Americans of $200,000. He's voted to make it easier for corporations to ship jobs and profits overseas. He's voted to end the Medicare guarantee. He's voted to raise the Social Security retirement age and to cut benefits. And he's voted to make it harder for women in this economy and voted against women having the chance to make their own medical decisions. Especially not reasonable, he's voted to shut down the government because he didn't get his way. His record is about voting for the special interests and the wealthiest Americans who are funding his campaign. You know, I, my record is very different. It's about bipartisan leadership. It's about solving problems. I've been elected chair of the legislature four times, each time with bipartisan support, and I have a record of bringing people together to solve problems for our constituents. I've been elected four times to my seat on the legislature. The people who know me best have voted for me four times. I'll always have your back. I'm running to fight for you and your family in Washington, D.C., and I ask for your vote next Tuesday. And uh, thank you to the Only Times Herald, uh, to the community uh, for coming out this evening. Um, uh, thank you for holding this debate. Thank you to my opponent uh, for joining us tonight uh, to have this conversation. Uh, as I, I do believe uh, we'll get into many issues tonight, and there'll be a strong contrast between my opponent's vision uh, going forward and our vision. Uh, but I would also like to take a moment to, to thank my family uh, who's with me, my beautiful wife, my son, my daughter, my brother, and uh, also and my sister Mary has joined us this evening, and I just want to thank them for always being by my side and standing with us as we go through this. And one final thank you uh, to all the volunteers uh, on our campaign. This is the, the last debate uh, we will be having, and I just wanted to take a moment to thank the countless volunteers in the hours that they have put forward uh, in regards to the campaign. You know, as we have started this journey uh, back in 2010 in Washington, D.C., uh, I made a commitment. Uh, the commitment was that I was always going to listen to you. Uh, we could have completed over 148 town halls uh, out there in accessible 24-7 because I think the most important voice that we should take to Washington, D.C. is your voice and your concerns. That's why we remain committed to you, uh, to be accessible and, and available. And those 6,000 constituent cases uh, that have called the office that we've been able to help is the most rewarding work that we've been able to do in the office. And a lot of that uh, kudos goes to our team uh, in our office. But in those conversations, I'll tell you the number one issue uh, that I agree is jobs. Is how are we going to create opportunities right here in Western New York, in America? And I'm a firm believer that our brightest days of this country are still ahead of us. When it comes to U.S. manufacturing, when it comes to opportunities uh, that we have available to us, uh, but they are before us. And I will continue to work across the aisle in a bipartisan way, as our record has clearly demonstrated in regards to things like our Advanced Manufacturing Innovation Act, uh, things where we can come together and solve America's problems. And together, we will be strong. So thank you.